Reporting on July 19, 2023, Russian medical laboratory Helix was hit by a serious cyber attack, resulting in service disruptions and delayed test results for its customers. Hackers attempted to infect the company's systems with ransomware, but no customer personal data was leaked. While some customers have received their results, many others are complaining and seeking refunds. Helix has reset customer passwords, strengthened security measures, and may involve law enforcement in the investigation. The identity and motivations of the hackers remain unknown. In a separate incident, pro-Ukrainian hackers claim to have stolen data from another Russian medical laboratory chain called CityLab. Personal information of around 500,000 people was released, but it is unclear if CityLab has taken any action regarding the data leak. Hacking groups, mainly based in Russia, have targeted companies with well-planned DDoS attacks in the second quarter of 2023. Cloudflare, a content delivery network provider, reported a 15% increase in DDoS requests compared to the previous quarter. The cryptocurrency, gaming, and gambling industries were hit the hardest, with a significant surge in attacks on cryptocurrency companies. Recovering from DDoS attacks can be a lengthy process. The rise in DDoS attacks is attributed to pro-Russia hacktivists targeting Western nations, the emergence of powerful virtual machine botnets, and the exploitation of a vulnerability in the Mitel business phone system. These attacks have affected various sectors, including finance, software, telecom, gaming, and media. The largest source of DDoS attacks is the US, followed by China and Germany. However, when considering the attack traffic relative to all traffic, Mozambique, Egypt, and Finland have the highest proportions. Estee Lauder, a major U.S. cosmetics manufacturer, has confirmed that it suffered a cyber attack. Hackers gained unauthorized access to the company's systems and stole data. Estee Lauder, the parent company of well-known brands like Clinique and Mac, has taken steps to mitigate the incident and is cooperating with law enforcement and cybersecurity experts in conducting an investigation. Two ransomware groups, CLOP and ALPHV, Black Cat, have claimed responsibility for the attack. The incident comes at a challenging time for Estee Lauder as it has already forecasted a decline in sales and profits due to the slow recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly in duty-free and travel destinations. Estee Lauder is a leading global manufacturer of skincare, makeup, fragrance, and hair care cosmetics, with its products sold in around 150 countries.